my yeah. mom, like we lived in New Hampshire, you know, like my mother would, we would go to Dunkin' Donuts and she'd be like, I'd like a croissant. <laughs> and the girl would be like, what? And I'd be like, mom. You're humiliating me. <laughs> oh, but but she does, she'd also say, a bon pain. A bon pain. So where did All that right, come mom. from? Where did that come from with her? She wanted to show that she was kind of fancy and erudite. What was it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. she knew, she spoke French. She went to, oh. you know, she went to a high school like St. Mar Saint Margaret's. You know, she went to like a Catholic school or something or some sort of Christian school, learned French. But she also, I remember when I was with Jimmy Kimmel, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> She was, he you have would to be have... specific because there's so many late night hosts named Jimmy. I know. <laughs> that time I was with Jimmy. Wait, which one? No, it was Kimmel. <laughs> um, but he, my mom had come to visit and he was, he was having a, you know, he would have like the Christmas Eve seven fishes thing. Yeah. And then we're hanging out and they're singing, everyone's singing Christmas carols and they're singing jingle bells. And my mom, you know, she's passed away. So now, of course, like I love every piece of her, but sure. she drove me totally insane and she just was driving me crazy. And I like whispered to him and I go, she's such a fucking know-it-all. And just as I said that the song ended and she goes, I can sing it in French. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most incredible timing. <laughs> you called it. She didn't disappoint. <sighs> That's like a sitcom where they say, well, as long as no idiotic blowhard gets involved, we should be fine. Bang. <laughs> Ted Knight comes through the door of Mira Tellamore. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes. Oh, well, Hello. But that's a perfect, that was perfect. Oh my God. I do know there are people who I know who's, who are always insisting that the real pronunciation is something that it possibly couldn't be. I mean, it, it just couldn't be. So you'll say like, let's go get a gelato. And they'll be like, well, <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's gelato. And I'll be like, what? No, it's gelato. Actually, you know, this is the kind of thing Jordan Schlansky yeah. would do, who works for us. He'd He'd say, and actually, it, it, I'm sorry, it comes from the German derivation of the Italian, so it's gelato. And you're like, no, it's not. <laughs> At a certain point, we all agree that it's not. Well, that's the thing is, like, at a, a certain point, like, it's just made more popular the wrong way, and that makes it the right way. Like, my mom insisted that to say, like, say something is your forte, it's fort. And, and I believe her, but no one in the world says it that way. So if you say, well, that's my fort, they'll go, what is, you mean they built a fort? No, it's the correct way of saying what all you know as forte. My wife says tomato. And um, it in, it in, it's be, her family, they, this is, they just all say tomato. And I know that that's an old, of course, you say tomato, I say tomato, but it's not tomato. It's just not. It's but, not no, anymore. I, I met it's a woman who said tomato and I was just like, <gasps> who said, who said it? A woman that I know yeah. who, yeah, who worked with me for a short time. If, that sounds negative. I, <laughs> I hired her for a, she was a, a decorator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was a short term contract. <laughs> it's not like you let her go because she was saying tomato. But it was funny because she said, no, no. She she said tomato and it proved in my mind my point, which is that all uh interior designers are come from money. Because mm -hmm. who who's a struggling interior nobody <laughs> works their way up. You know, like there is no coming from nothing interior you designer. You could put that crate over by that barrel. <laughs> and it might create a flow <laughs> and then lay that pipe over there. And then you're right. They don't start out in an alley just arranging trash cans. I, know, I think these people are from old money that become this. <laughs> and then she goes, I like the tomato color. And I go, I look over at Rory. What did I tell you? Yeah. But it could also be that is a Boston. Like my Nana said, like, uh, you know, had a Boston accent. But she said, like, she had a weird uh like, I don't know why I say, like, but challah bread, she'd say, like, hully. Hully you know? bread? Yeah. Like, wow. she had that kind of, like, scrappy Boston accent. But then she said, both. <laughs> 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 but it wasn't, like, a rich person way. It was, like, a Boston both. That's like, so instead of bath. Yeah. I'm going to take a both. Yeah, I didn't That's know if you thought of... I was saying, like, she had a lisp and she was saying boss or something. No, no, but she is, like, mid-Atlantic. My mother, I, I swear to God, the only reason I'm in comedy is my mother always reminded me, and I love my mom, 
uh, and she's the best, but she always reminded me of Margaret Dumont from the uh, Marx Brothers movies. Oh. The lady who's like, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, well, I, please, Groucho. Um, and it was, uh, she always had a little bit of that, now let's just all settle down here. Now I'd like to think we're the kind of family that knows how to respect itself and use the correct language. And of course, that made me want to go, mm, yeah. you know, and then <laughs> behave like a complete idiot. And um, they took us once to a fancy restaurant and they put down the little bowls that you're supposed to wash your hands in. We never went to fancy restaurants, but there was some occasion, might've been my parents' anniversary and they took us someplace downtown Boston that was kind of old fashioned. And they gave us a little, and we all knew it was to dip your hands in to clean them. I'll never forget, I took my napkin, I'm like 12 and I tuck it like right into my shirt and I take a, my spoon and I go, eh, soup's on. And I start <laughs> slurping it. And my mother was like, would you please? That's for washing your hands. And I'm like, eh, you know, <laughs> why? But if she had been not doing that, she was such a good straight person that I had to do it. I had to. So, I always say babies. I'm sorry, there was more to that. Oh, uh, no, I don't think there was. I you just, just said so, hoping that more words would come to your... Sometimes I do that. <laughs> it was me throwing it to you in a very anyway. professional way, yeah. That was like a behind the, behind the back pass by, you know, Magic Johnson. You know, that was just like a really cool thing I just did. I just oh. went, so, and I looked at you, and you're, you were supposed to like grab oh, it and take like... take it. Yeah, take the rock to the hole and just, you know, wham. Oh, wow, you really know basketball Pretty terms. good sportster over here. Sportster. I was going to say something, but now I want to say this, that my dream has always been, and now I think they don't play, the, the um, what's the big American basketball team they play the Washington Generals? Oh, uh, the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah, so I love the Harlem Glo Globetrotters, but then as an adult, I thought, wouldn't it be great if I would go, if I went to Ho Harlem Globetrotters games in like head to toe Washington Generals fan gear <laughs> and like the foil for the kids in the crowd, you know, like this is their year that, you know, like right, really right, right. Go crazy. <laughs> That's funny. But and I looked into it <laughs> and uh, they don't they like downsize. So they don't play the Washington Generals anymore. They just play like whatever local or something. It was the Washington Generals job to lose. Yeah. They were employed to lose every game. <laughs> And there must have been a time when they were just like, I, I know this is going to, we're going to get in big trouble, but let's beat the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, that'd be today. amazing. Oh, no. Yeah, because they, cause there are moments where, the, I mean, I'm sure the Harlem Globetrotters are very good, but there are moments where they're busy filling a bucket with confetti <laughs> um, or, or stealing the ref's whistle when you can, you know, pull off some major plays and get ahead, build a good, comfortable lead. Yeah, but that's not the point. Well, it should be the point. No, it's okay. It's kids right need to learn. Don't. Kids, kids need to learn that anyone can lose if they're busy stuffing a a, a pail with confetti. Yeah, or like throwing a fake basketball that comes back on a Cause, string. Yeah, because it has a rubber band on it. Kids need to know that those kind of shenanigans can lead to trouble. I don't know. It's like wrestling, right? You always have to choose someone who loses in wrestling. Otherwise, what's the? I don't know. Yeah, what's what the are point? they called? Not the foil, but the. Um, the loser. The heel. The heel. The heel. The heel. The heel. The heel. Yeah, the heel. Or, or Sona's term works also. The loser. You know what? You should, if, when you run out of comics to do this show, you never will, but. Never. There's too many. But uh, there are some really interesting professional wrestlers, you know, like from That's that true. world. And it's it's kind of adjacent. like. But also, we don't just talk to uh, comedians. Um, we, we talk to, I think, primarily comedians. Kings but... and queens. And, and comedians, kings and, <laughs> and queens. Oh, uh, and down on, their, down on their luck royalty. Like really s royalty from very small countries. Like you got Harry and Meghan? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No, no. No. This is from the Duchy of... Lithuania. 